Hey there, I decided to make this video because I could not find a good video on YouTube showing how to replace a Kia Sorento side mirror. There was one older video, but his was different than mine, so here you go. Please see the link in the video description for the replacement part. There's this little speaker here in the panel here that you can just stick a screwdriver behind and just pull it right off, okay? There's these little tabs that come out that will easily come off and then you just unplug this wiring harness very simple it just has a little button you push down to disconnect it all right so once you have that out of the way you need to kind of pull on the door panel just a little bit you don't have to take the door panel all the way off and it, it comes off fairly easily once you tug on it hard enough and you can see this little green clip at the bottom there that pops out. There's another one over here. It's blue. I don't know how well you can see that, but these just easily pull back a little bit. Okay. And then there's the wiring harness for the mirror. And it's actually surprisingly easy to disconnect. I was struggling with it for a while before I figured out that you simply have to just push on this little white tab right here can do it with your thumb and it'll pull right out no problems you don't have to do anything complicated all right and then these three bolts have to be removed they are 10 millimeters all right so you can use a socket wrench to do that okay try not to drop any of those bolts down into the door or you might have to take the entire panel off and that would not be good. All right, so once you get it loose, you can probably just take it out by hand. Again, be super careful. Don't drop it. There's also this little Phillips screw that you have to remove with a screwdriver. I with four feet, so you have to kind of like push those feet in slightly to get it back in place install the new mirror. Here's the new mirror. You can see it looks nice and it lines up perfectly. You just put it through the holes and the wiring harness just goes through the big rectangle hole. And then we'll start by putting this screw in this little spot here. So that thing basically just Holds everything in place. It makes it easier to put in the three bolts. And they should thread right into the mirror then at that point. You can do it by hand to get it started. Make sure it doesn't fall down into there again. And then you can tighten it up with a 10 millimeter socket. And once you have your three bolts on, you just want to connect the wiring harness like so push it in firm till it clicks and then you can push the door panel back together start where it's the furthest out see that blue pack has to go in Alright, so yeah, you just want to line up the little pegs a little better and then you can push it hard until it kind of clicks into place all around. And here's the speaker. Just going to plug it in here. It'll click into place. And notice there's these three prongs and there's three holes that you have to get lined up and you don't want any wires in the way either. So we're going to try to do this all. Push it in hard and it should snap into place. Uh, should have a nice clean 
finish flush to the door and that should be job well done. I hope it was perfect. I should also point out that you can paint this piece here before you attach it on. It actually comes separately. So if you needed it white, for example, go get some white Rust-Oleum or whatever spray paint works for this plastic. And then you can optionally primer it first and spray it down and then snap it into place. That'll be easier. But I'm just going to leave it as is.